Hey guys, and welcome back to It Kind of Works. Now, a couple weeks ago, I put out a video showing off the new laser cutter that It Kind of Works has been able to afford because of all the awesome Patreon supporters. Well, today, we're gonna use that laser cutter to etch our own circuit boards. Yup, instead of that toner transfer method, which honestly, I've done it in the past, and yeah, you can make it work, but it's not ideal. Half the time my toner transfer just peels off or something doesn't etch right. So today we're gonna use a laser cutter to do it. And guys, I mean, the results are just so consistent and so nice. So here, these are a couple boards that I've made in the past. Uh, oddly enough, they're all temperature sensing boards just because that seems to be an easy thing to test with. I like to think of this as sort of a three-step process. The first step is basically getting the design ready to be laser etched. Uh, it does take a little bit of fiddling and unfortunately I'm not going to be showing how to actually create your design because honestly guys, I am terrible at using Eagle or any other CAD software for circuit boards. So I just feel that I would not be a good resource for designing that. But what I am going to do is take a ready board and show you how to export it out of Eagle, do any modifications, and finally get it exported to the point of laser etching. The second step, step two, is to actually etch the board. So this involves spray painting, etching away some spray paint, cleaning it up a bit, and doing the regular chemical etching that you'd do if you were using uh, the toner transfer method. The last step of etching any circuit board is to drill all of those little holes that you just created pads for and populate the board. So that's sort of the last step. And, you know, sadly, you don't really get to test the board until that final step, but that is where we will end today. So. We'll go through creating your design, getting it ready to be etched, etching the board, and populating the board. So let's get to step one and prep our design for etching. All right, so here you can see the circuit board that we will be etching today. It's just uh, basically a photo interrupter for a circuit for a project that you guys will be seeing in a couple weeks. Uh, so I've already gone ahead and just gotten everything set up that I wanted for this board. I do have and will provide for you guys my Eagle DRC. Uh, so if you're interested in my DRC file, you can check that out in the description below. All right, so the way that I go about doing this is I change my layer view in Eagle to something called four laser, which is purely just pads and bottom. So that's what we're looking at here is just the pad layer and the bottom layer, and that's it. And the way that I process this, I'm sure that there is an easier way to go about this, but basically step one, export from Eagle and open to in Photoshop. Once it's open in Photoshop, we are going to invert the image and do a little bit of cleanup on the pads. Then we open that PNG in Inkscape, convert it to a vector, which we can save as an SVG, which then we can use in K40 Whisper to etch the board. So we'll start here. I'm going to print and we want to mirror the image, all black and just solid. So no colors and just a solid black image. Scale factor, make sure this is at one. You don't wanna be changing your scaling at all. So I'll select where to save this in the demo folder. Okay, save, okay. So now I can look at my demo folder and there it is. So now we open this up in Photoshop. Now what I do in here, I create a new layer, bring it to the bottom and just paint bucket it with black. So now our image looks like this, and if I go to the layer that I imported and I invert it, now all of the traces are white, 
and all the copper pour is white and all the area that I don't, that I want to etch away is in black. The last step here, and you might not have to do this depending on your laser cutter, I've found that it does improve uh, cuts and, and accuracy with mine. If I go ahead and I just get rid of all of the holes. So all the pad holes, it's a little bit tedious, but it means that my whole pad gets a copper pour rather than just the hole or around the hole. Uh, depending on the quality of your laser, you might not have to do that. Okay, so now we save from Photoshop as a PNG and we open with Inkscape. As you can see, I've already done some of this before. So here is our file opened in Inkscape. And what we need to do to this is convert it to a vector because right now it's what's called a raster format. It's pixels versus mathematical formulas for paths and lines. So what we do is we select it and we go up to path and trace bitmap. And you can click the live preview and give you a little preview. I've found because this is all black and white, the default settings are just fine. We click OK. And now, even though you can't really see it, we have a vector version as sitting on top of the raster version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the fill, go to stroke, give it a stroke and make it red. So red on the laser cutter means cut. So now I can drag. Okay. So that's my raster or that's my vector version. You might not be able to see that too well, but hopefully you can. It's very thin little faint red lines. Put that back in the center of our canvas and the raster version. We don't care about, we can just delete it now. So now we have our vector version. Looks very nice and clean. Beautiful. All right. So the last step here before we save that we need to make Inkscape, we need to give this uh, the correct dimensions. So if you go to Inkscape file document properties and we need to set the units from pixels to millimeters. So set both of those to millimeters, click X and now we can save. We'll save as an Inkscape P SVG, IR encoder, save. And that's basically it. All right, so now I can upload it to the Raspberry Pi and I've already done that. So I can just go to the, my screen sharing. You can see I even already have it open. This is K40 Whisperer, the etching software that I use. So you go to open file and pick out the encoder, IR, IR encoder. We open that up. My laser cutter is off right now, so that gives an error. And there it is, our little design all ready to be etched. All right, now that we have this all set up and ready to be etched, let's go to the laser cutter and just get everything prepped and ready to go. All right, so here are the materials that we are going to need to prep our circuit board. We got a can of black matte spray paint, very important. My copper clad board, which we will be spray painting and etching a little bit of you know fairly fine grit sandpaper and something to hold our circuit board with so the first thing that we want to do here is we need to rough up the surface of the circuit board a little bit so that's what we have the sandpaper here for and i just go in little circles kind of roughly roughing up the edge uh, or the surface of the circuit board. All right, so once you have it fairly well etched, I'm not sure if you can see that or scratched up, then you take your spray paint and you just want to apply a very light and thin layer to the circuit board. So I'm going to hold the board in these pliers and give it a little painting. All right, so there we go. You can see it's a very nice, even layer of paint there. 
And we're just gonna let that dry and then we'll pop it into the laser cutter. All right, so here we got the laser cutter all fired up and all we have to do now is put our board in and cut it. So I got my board here and I got a little bit of uh, pieces of wood here just to act as standoffs. Lift the board up a little bit, put it in there, close the lid and we are ready to cut. All right, so for the next few steps of this process, cutting, cleaning, etching, all that stuff, we're just gonna do it in a montage because guys, I really don't have two hours worth of stuff to say while we do this. Uh, so I will see you guys again when we get to the roughly finished product. Right, guys so there it is our finished circuit board now you guys will definitely be seeing this little board show up in a future video so for right now just let me know what you guys think it is in the comments and we'll find out soon all right guys if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section down below and if you have any questions go to itkindaworks.com forums and if you really want to help out the channel today go to patreon.com slash it kind of works. All right, I'll see you all later.